Lots of drill bits and screwdriver bits can be confusing to beginners. Let's demystify them here in this video. Got a nice set of driver and drill bits here. The bottom half are drill bits and above that are driver bits. With these, you can avoid buying a whole bunch of individual tools. These bits are meant to be used with power tools, namely the impact driver and the power drill. You can differentiate them by the nozzle. The impact driver has a fixed diameter nozzle, while the drill has a variable nozzle. The impact driver needs a bit holder to receive the bits. The socket of the holder is hexagonal, as are the shafts of all the driver bits. This is a socket holder adapter with a square tip to accommodate hex sockets. You can also get a hand tool like this to accommodate the driver bits. There is also this wrench, which is specifically designed for hex sockets. You can switch it to turn clockwise to drive in screws and counterclockwise to remove screws. Now let's go to the drill bits. The shaft of each drill bit has a different diameter, so the nozzle of the drill must be adjustable to accommodate the various diameters. To illustrate, let's put one drill bit in. Now let's get to the various types of screwdriver bits. Let's start with the slotted bits. They are designated with S for slotted, and the suffix number increases as the tip width increases. This is used for screws with slotted heads, or sometimes called negative heads, as it resembles a negative sign. This is the simplest but oldest screw design. The disadvantage is that it's not suitable for power drivers since at high speed the driver bits can slide out. This type of screw is becoming obsolete. Next are the Phillips screws or sometimes called positive as it resembles the positive sign. The designation is pH followed by a number. The higher the number, the bigger the diameter. This was designed so that the screwdriver will always be centered. This is why it is suitable for power tools. It is still the most popular screw type, although not the best because of the tendency for it to cam out, which damages the screw head. This is a source of a lot of frustrations. Next is the posi drip, or posi for short. It has a designation of PZ followed by a number. 
The size designation is the same as with Phillips. It is an improvement over the Phillips screws. Notice the X notch superimposed 45 degrees to the cross notch. This X notch creates more surface contact between the driver tip and the slot of the screw head, therefore reducing the chances of camming out. Here is a side-by-side -side comparison of a posi bit and a Phillips bit. They look very similar, except for the additional ribs in between the main flanks. And the size designations are the same. In a pinch, a Phillips driver can be used on a posi screw head and vice versa. However, I would not recommend it. Next is the Torx driver bit. It has a designation of T followed by the size number. The greater the number, the larger the diameter. Here is the screw head of the Torx screw, sometimes called a star screw. It has six lobes and resembles the Star of David. This is one of the latest screw designs and is popular with engineers wanting to automate the assembly of products in a factory. It is designed not to camp out, and it's easy to align the tip of the driver to the screw head, making it suitable for robotic arms. We now come to the hex bits designated with H prefix. The term hex can be confused with hex socket screw, which is a different type of screw. So more often, it's called Allen screw and driver to avoid confusion. The slot of the screw head is six-sided. This design came before the Torx screw, but came after the Phillips screw. It's also designed not to cam out and for ease of automation, much like Torx screws. However, the disadvantage is that the Allen driver tip can become rounded as it gets worn out. Next are the hex socket drivers and hex socket screws or bolts. Not to be confused with the Allen hex screws, instead of a slot, the head is just a solid hex shape. Therefore, the driver needs to be a socket that surrounds the head. The label engraved on the driver bit indicates the inner instead of the outer dimension. It has a much better grip on the head of the bolt and cam out rarely happens. That's why you'll find that this type is commonly used in automobiles, heavy equipment, and heavy furniture. Lastly, we come to the Robertson bits. I do not have a Robertson screw to show, but you can see the tip of the driver bit is square, so the slot of the screw head is square. So while the Allen has a hex slot, this one has a square slot. This type of screw is quite popular in Canada. Now let's get to drill bits. There are three main types of drill bits. Let's start with a masonry bit. It is used to drill concrete, stone, and other masonry. You can identify it by the spade-shaped tip. When you're drilling masonry, make sure to set your power drill to the hammer mode. This means that the drill bit is hammering into the masonry while rotating at the same time. Moving on, these are drill bits intended for metal. Typically, you can see the label HSS stamped on the shaft. It stands for high speed steel, meaning that the bit is made of hardened 
heat resistant and wear resistant material which makes it suitable in drilling metal. Note the tip of the bit is a wedge. This type of bit is also commonly used to drill wood. On the power drill, set it at the regular rotation mode. Make sure you avoid the hammer mode. This third type of drill bits are for wood. As wood is much softer than metal, it's not necessary to make them out of high-speed steel. Hence, you don't see HSS stamped on the shaft. You can distinguish it from a metal drill bit by the protruding pointed tip. This helps you center your bit precisely on your workpiece, which saves you time. While you can use metal drill bits on wood, you lose precision and efficiency, if that's important to you. To illustrate, I'll drill some holes on wood using these two 6mm bits. I drew three target points on this scrap wood. Using metal drill bit on the first target, you are not assured you are centered. The solution when using a metal drill bit is to use an awl to punch a divot. The divot helps guide the bit in centering. With the pointed tip of the wood drill bit, you just align the pointed tip precisely on the target in one go, which saves you the extra effort of using an awl. I was able to drill the last two holes accurately. One using just the wood drill bit and the other using metal drill bit with the aid of a divot. The first one was offset from the center while just using the metal drill bit straight away. By the way, set your power drill at regular drill mode. You may also adjust the torque and speed depending on the type of wood you're working with. Here again are the three types of drill bits. You'll find other specialty drill bits for wood. This is a countersink drill bit. It bores a conical hole to allow the head of the screw to sit flush or below the surface of the workpiece, like this. This way you avoid the screw head protruding. Or you can plug the conical hole to hide the screw head. There are other large diameter drill bits, like these flat drill bits, sometimes called spade bits. You see, in comparison, they are larger than the usual drill bits. These are called Forstner bits, which is an improved design over the spade drill bits. There are even larger diameter drill bits, such as these hole saw bits. For example, the hole for a doorknob uses this type of drill bit. It requires, though, an adapter to allow boring of a center hole.
And there you have it. We've covered over 90% of the type of driver bits and drill bits, and maybe even over 95% of what you would ever use. If you find this video useful, please give a like, subscribe, and click on the bell.